In this video, I'm going to be installing a coarser reed into this loom. This is a Draper X3 that I'm making narrow width denim on. In order to put the new reed in the loom, I have to first find a reed in my stack, trim it to fit, uh, pull this old reed out, put the new one in, square it and align it, and then reslate the warp through the new reed. I found a coarser reed that is a direct replacement for the reed that's currently in the loom. The problem that I found with this reed is when I measure it, it is actually good for my other wider looms. So it makes me hesitant to cut this one down to size. So I found a different reed that changes the construction a little bit, but I think that will make it easier to run and it's narrower. And so that means that on this reed, all I have to do is take off a couple of inches on this side. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So first thing we need to do with this is we need to figure out how far it's going to go over. So when you pull this apart, you need to pull apart the reed slats and this little end piece. So when you remove this stuff, you have to factor this part back in. So that means that this metal bar needs to go to here. This little metal bar is, yeah, I would say that's a three sixteenths. So we'll take, so this will be the last one left is this one right here. I use a Sharpie marker on this so that way I know what I'm doing. And then what we'll do is we'll pull these caps off, this off, cut it, put it back on. Um, so I need to, I got everything here, I just need to get a knife and we can start. Alright, so I got my knife, just a simple electrician's knife. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the other side as well because I need to work off both sides of this. Then we remove the paper. This stuff is old and caked on there. There we go. Now some of these reeds in the past, these have all been covered or soldered. And so they are very hard to take apart. Uh, hand, hand loom reeds are a little bit easier. You can run a hand loom reed in these uh, power looms, these older power looms. And those are pretty simple because they don't generally have the solder in it. So you can just kind of unravel them and they come apart. The way these are made is there's usually a jig or a fixture and you put you know these dents in and you have a piece of sinew that you wrap around this upper bar which is actually two bars 
and you calculate how much is your space depending on the thickness of the sinew. And so you wrap it, put a bar in, wrap it, put a bar in, wrap it, put a bar in, and that's how these are built. So on the hand reeds, you can simply just unravel that back to where you need it, and you're done. Uh, with the ones that are soldered in place, you have to actually uh, cut them because uh, I don't really want to destroy this by heating up with a torch and not knowing what's going to happen. So I'm not sure if this is sinew, all sinew, or if it's lead too. But next step is we have these little brass caps that need to come out. So on these, so on these you just, it can be kind of a pain. You kind of have to just work something under to get these nails out. I haven't found necessarily the best way to do this. There's two nails out, the other two. Then we pull the caps off. Easy. And then we pop this bar out. Now that's a good feeling because that seems like this is just a sinew reed. And what that means is we can just unravel it. We don't have to cut it like we would with the soldering solder one. So let's hope that that remains the case. Yep. So things we need back over here. And what we have to do is we have to find the end of the sinew. It's all deteriorated and nasty.
So it looks like this one, whatever the diameter of the sinew is, it needs two thicknesses of it to space these out. So you see it's wrapped around twice and then a bar is put in there. And we just keep doing this until we are at the length we need for the loom. Next what happens is this, well what will happen when I put it back together is this bar will sit in there nice and flush. These caps will go back on and the nails will go back in. Right now I need to, before I go any further I need to make sure this is the correct length. which it is. So we'll call that good. And then I need to cut these off. So I can either use a coping saw like this or uh, some other saw. Uh, like I usually use my metal saw use a kind of just mark about where it needs to be cut so just that doesn't have to be exact and then I can go cut it. I'm going to go cut it on my metal saw just because it goes through faster and cleaner. There it's cut. I like using my uh, abrasive wheel cutoff saw because it will go through the metal rod that's in here and the wood nice and clean. I don't have to mess with it. Uh, with a handsaw, you can get kind of caught up on the metal and then it messes up the wood. I'm just not a fan of it. So, next, you put this in, orient it properly. There that is. caps on and that is odd the outside of the caps was just a little bit narrower on this hmm Usually these caps will just fit right over this wood and metal because it's the same, this wood and metal is the same diameter throughout. It looks like these ones, it's a, was a little bit smaller for these caps. So I don't know if I want to flare the caps out or cut the wood and metal down to fit.
Hmm. I guess let me go grab a file. So this is the first read I've had like that, and this read is made by the Pioneer Atlanta Company uh, out of Atlanta, Georgia. So obviously, or I would think that they don't exist anymore, so I can't really complain too much. Uh, so let's see if we can't file this wooden metal down to fit. Now I am going to bend these back a little if I can. place. These aren't super critical by any means. Put this back in. Really? All right. That side, this side. Thank you. 
There we have it. A nice read that should fit properly in the loom.